Howdy y'all, it's a beautiful day. It's kinda getting late right now, but yeah, still wanted to do this video. Now, you might see me wearing or carrying a new backpack around. And which one is it? Well, here it is, drum rolls. Mammoth Tryon 35. Why did I get this one? So let's make it clear. I did have the Tryon 35 before and why? Because it's a rare access backpack. That is the main important thing about this backpack. But I didn't like it, so I didn't keep it. I didn't like it because the, for my feeling at least, on the last one, the black one, the load lifters were too high for me. This model might be the the new one, I'm not too sure because I got it from a reseller and I'm not sure that if they got like a women's fit and a man fit, but I'm thinking this is the women's fit and that's why it's a little bit tighter, smaller maybe, I'm not sure, but that's the reason that I went again for it. To give you some perspective, you might see me or you might have seen me in the video of the snowy mountains in Romania not so long ago. And I'm super happy with the Mama Tukan 24 because it's just a wonderful backpack. However, when you are at those angles, I told you I'm not an alpine climber. It was the first time that I was in those conditions. May it be alpine or not. But for me, it was kind of scary. And when you are at that angle, on the snow, ice, on a mountain, and you still want to get your gear or access your gear as fast and good as possible, it's kind of difficult. Like with the Dukun, because it's a top loader, I had to, to hold it in some kind of way and get my stuff out of the backpack, which didn't feel too safe and taking pictures and all of that good stuff. What happens with a red access backpack is that you can just focus on staying where you are, you put the backpack on its belly, and then you just open up from the back, you got your overview, and you can do whatever you want at that point. So that's the reason that I got trying 35 right now, because of my upcoming trip, either back in Romania or to the Alps, and that's about it. To dig into the backpack, here are some specs or some opinions, views that I can share with y'all, and especially because I've seen this backpack being discussed on the forums, but nobody took the opportunity to make a video about it. So here we are, as always, giving you the good stuff about backpacks. This is the Triumph 35. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a rare opening backpack, rare access backpack. Now, you will get pretty sweaty with this one, especially in the summer. It's not that, you know, what do they call it? Contact U frame? Okay, but it's not gonna be very breathable keep that in mind the waist strap can be taken off if you want to you can see that here but I'm not gonna show you that in this video however there's a pocket on the right side and there's this loop on the left side and I like the buckles and it's the you know the right way of using your strap pulling it away from the body but here we come to the zipper which is provided with these two super cool loops and let's see if we can do this one-handed So while you're hiking or on a mountain or whatever, you know, this is kind of fun to access your backpack from this side because you can just relax and look at all the gear and decide whatever you want to take out and do your stuff, you know. So for example, what do I have in here? I have just a mid layer, so it might get colder later in the evening and I got like a rain jacket, a wind jacket. That fits pretty good in here, you can pack some other stuff in it. But other than that, the important stuff is, of course, I got a camera cube in here. And you can see it fits pretty snugly. This is the Wonder Provoke Essential Plus Cube. Look at it. It just fits almost perfect, I would say. So I can definitely recommend this one. I got controller, phone, drone, batteries, and the camera goes in there. Pretty good room, good space. In here, you could put the water bladder if you're going to use one of those. And in here, there's a mesh pocket. Now I got some accessories in there so that's all good this is it for the inside so let me close that up then you get two of these shoulder um, chest pockets let's call it that way which are pretty big like you can fit 500 milliliter bottles in here which I like to use and for now I just got the landscape of the camera then we got like this these kind of reflectors going on there also up in here and then low lifters you do see the opening for water bladder in there zoom yep there it is and a pretty basic loop handle but it's okay you know i don't use that too much so it's good we got two side pockets 
So two side pockets and you see they fit in one liter bottle, pretty easy without issues. This is the other side where I kept my tripod in it, the Manfrotto Carbon Traveler, Element Traveler, I think that's the name. You only get one pocket on the, what do they call this, like the top lid, there's not two pockets in there. Now if you do remember or you do know or I told you, the Mamadoukan has two pockets on the lid, which is number one, one in here, and then we open it up, it has a pocket in here. This one does not have that. What is the difference? The difference is that this one can be taken off. As in with the Dukan, you cannot take it off. I don't know if that's a plus for someone, but just FYI. And it can be done by untouching or attaching, detaching these loops up here, take it out, and then you can use it. Looking like that. It does have this strap up here if you want to use like ropes or all kind of other stuff. So that can come in handy and you can tuck it away if you want to. It has a little pocket up here and for example we can just roll it up and then we tuck it away in here. That's it. The front is being closed by attaching these two buckles up here. It does have a front pocket if you ever need that. So by the way these loops are not coming with the mammoth backpack but I put them on myself just because I like these and what do we have in here? So I got a wallet, a poncho, that's for the mountains. I got a power bank and little accessories for the camera gear. But you see, you know, it can fit like a second layer if you want in there. Now this is a very big full rope, I would say, but I don't know if it's necessary to be that big, but yeah. that's it for the main compartment. Of course you can, I can open it up from here, but it wouldn't give you any, you know, like extra stuff. One thing that I did not bring with me today is the ox. So you see that you can put your ox in here. You can fit pretty good in there. You can even attach like straps on it to keep it more safe. And there's even two loops for like, what is that called? Poles or whatever you want to wear. Also keep in mind there's a lot of mollies in here. So you can attach all kinds of stuff up there, you know. Show an example. Here's one of those carabiners. There you go. But more can I tell you about this wonderful backpack. Of course it has like this big ski. I think it's for skis, you know, like straps look pretty good, you know, sturdy, not to say about that. Then these, there's these extra straps up here on the side. Of course on the other side, same thing all over again, you know. And that's about it, I think, you know. All that I can tell you about this backpack. 